Okay, this video is just to show you how to change the computers on this uh, Fujo Kanto. It's a 2010 FE83D. Uh, there's two computers. One does Hell Assist and the other one is the main engine control module. Just show you where they are and how, how to do it. Okay, so that control module is just sitting above the accelerator pedal is the replacement one. The actual original one is just sitting up under there. That's the Hell Assist control module. Um, works in conjunction with the main ECU. And that's going to be replaced. So just uh, two bolts and it all comes out. No problem at all. The other main engine control module is right in the middle of the dash, uh, just behind the fuse box. So I'll show you that. So there we have the uh, fuse box. It just unbolts two bolts at the top, and and behind there is the control module. This is the replacement one. I'm going to change over. Um, so pretty much uh, two 10 mil bolts at the top, and two at the bottom and it all comes out it's pretty straightforward the plugs there on the on the driver's side driver's side being right hand side in this example okay so it's all um, pretty easy to get as far as I got this cover has to come off so that, that involves a couple of screws across the bottom and then in behind this cover here being the being this gear shift cover you need to pull this little cover off here and there's a screw behind there and then the rest just unclips and that will reveal to you these screws here which you got to undo and then uh, that whole thing just unclips as well so you can see We've got two clips there, two there, one there, and the screws across the bottom. So that's pretty easy, pretty accessible. And then you've got full access to continue on, get as far as I've got. Okay, if there's anything else, I'll continue to post so that you can see that. Okay, the, um, the control module is actually only held in with two bolts at the top here. Uh, just bear in mind that there's an earth strap connected to that um, and plugs into the control module um, harness somewhere. I'll find that and I'll let you know. But yeah, basically two bolts. I've loosened loosened them off and you can see that the whole thing is loose now. Once I take that last bolt out, it'll all come out. And then I'll show you where that air strap goes. So that's the control module out. And this the air strap that bolts onto the mounting bolt and then goes into the wiring harness at the grey plug here. Uh, so just make sure that's in because earths, computers need earths, they need good earths so that if they don't get it and power supply or earth supply is, is wrong you're going to get all sorts of problems creeping in so make sure that they're in properly secured and that will minimise any uh, repercussions of uh, problematic issues arising from bad connections ok thank you all unplugging the control module is just as easy as this clip here you just lift it up and you'll notice that it slides out and then once it's slid out you can lift it off and it's that simple same exactly the same on the other side all right that's a new control module fitted uh, what I noticed there was a screw missing out of the bottom here so I have fitted that found another one and put it in two bolts at the top make sure your earth straps plugged in and connected back into the harness you can see that down there and uh, then I'll scan the control module and make sure there's no faults and everything's ready to go 
So what I've done is just plug my scanner into the diagnostic plug which is right there and scan the computer, uh, cleared any faults that may have been created throughout any processes and now there's no check engine light up on the dash and the hill, hill assist uh, light is off as well so uh, we're back in business um, I won't go into the details of this and how I diagnosed it but I just thought I'd show you how to change these control modules okay Thanks.